Okay, Joe, what have you roped us into this time? Okay, so I was just looking through my Steam library and I found this old game called Slime Rancher with a bunch of cute slimes on the thumbnail and I thought this would be the perfect game to play together. What is even going on? There's colorful blobs bouncing everywhere and exploding. I thought you said this would be a cute and relaxing playthrough. No, trust me, it'll be so much fun. Here, Donnie, I'll even let you be in control first. Ah, fine, here we go, let's start a new game. Okay, it looks like it wants us to name the world and select an icon in difficulty. Y'all have any ideas? Don't worry, I have the perfect name. What is it? Hold on, let me type it first. Greatest ranch of all time. Really? You're already letting your ego get to you and we haven't even started playing. Hold on, let me select an icon. Oh yes, the gold one looks perfect. I think this really will be the greatest ranch of all time. Oh, all come on, the name is too long. Ah, oh, fine, I'll just change it up a little bit. Here we go, the greatest ranch ever. All right, here we go. A thousand light years away from Earth, on a planet known as the Far Far Range, Beatrix LeBeau begins her first day as a slime rancher. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. All right, here we are. I don't know, this doesn't seem too different from Earth so far. Ooh, look, there's some slimes over there, Donnie. Oh yeah, I'll go see what they're up to. Oh my God, they're so cute. Yeah, I guess so. What am I even supposed to do with them? He's just bashing his head against this fence. Well, the pop-up is saying to hold right-click to suck them up into your tank. Try that. Oh, cool. Now I have this little pink slime trapped in my backpack. Hooray, we're already masters at this game. Now it says to shoot the slime through the corral barrier. I think that's that big futuristic pen over there. Maybe try to shoot it through the wall. Okay, cool. I guess he's my pet now. So what now? Do we just stare at it? I think we're supposed to get money from it somehow. I don't know. All right, I'm already bored. Let's see how high I can shoot this little guy. No, he's gonna die. Catch him. Oh my God, fine, I'll go get him. Oh, thank God you saved him, Donnie. And then I'll throw him into the sea. Wait, what? No, why the hell would you do that? Come back to me, pink slime. Great job, Donald. You already killed your first slime. Oh, relax, there's another one right here. I think he's trying to get to the carrots. I'll help him. See, I can be a good person too. Should I just shoot the food at him? How does this work? Oh, there we go. See, he loves it. Wait, what is that little thing that he popped out? Look, it says you acquired a port and to head over to the market to cash it in. Oh, uh, I guess that's this big screen thing. Whoa, look at all those different ports. If we can get a hand on one of the gold ones, we'll be rich. Dang, the pink port was only worth $9. Let me see if this little rascal has any more to give me. I don't think he's hungry. Yeah, he won't eat it. Fine, if you don't want to eat your vegetables, you're going back to the cage. Oh, hey, it looks like we completed the tutorial. It says we're finally ready to explore, hooray. Hold on, I feel like we should get some more plorts before we head out. Well, since that one's not hungry, we should try to get some more slimes while we wait. Are there any more? Uh, oh yeah, there's another one over there. Come here and give me that plort too. Hey, what's that big red border about? Oh, I don't know. It won't let me go through it. It's a ranch expansion. Get it. I can't. It costs 1,700 coins. Ah, shucks. It looks so pretty back there. Hey, what's that big computer thing? Doing? Range exchange offline. Maybe we gotta wait to see. Ooh, it looks like we can purchase upgrades for the corral. We should buy the higher walls to keep those pesky slimes from hopping out. Well, I can't afford anything right now because they sent me here with an extremely small loan of $250. Well, since we've already learned the basics, I'd say we should head out into the world. I think it's past that big rock arch over there. Yeah, you're probably right. I can't wait to see what other cool slimes we find out there. Oh my God, hurry up, Donald. All right, all right. Jeez. Ooh, looks like we're entering the dry reef. Oh my gosh, look at all those pink slimes. Oh my God, we're gonna be so rich. Come here, you rascals. Yes, get in my tank, all of you. Don't forget to get them some food, too. Oh, right, I'll get some carrots. Oh, get some fruit, too. Those look tasty. What fruit is this, anyway? It says they're called pogo fruit. It also says they're the most common fruit in the far, far range, but also the most delicious. Well, our slimes better appreciate them. Look, we got a letter from Casey. I wonder what it is. Probably just another rancher trying to get a cut of our soon-to-be riches. Let's just ignore it. Oh yeah, I saw earlier that we got some mail from something called the 7Z Corporation as well. I think we should at least see what they want from us once we get back to the ranch. Fine, but if they start asking to borrow some of my carrots and pogo fruit, they're not getting any. How much stuff can we hold in our tank anyway? 
It looks like we're running out of space. I wouldn't worry about it. Hey, come on. Dang it, I think we can only hold 20 of each item. Still, though, 20 slimes should be plenty enough. I'll just make sure I get all the fruits and veggies we need. Wow, all these fruits and vegetables look so good. I wish carrots were real. Uh, yeah. The pogo fruit do look good, though. They kind of remind me of pomegranates. Oh, cool. I think I found a little hidden area back here with some more pogo fruit and carrots. All right, well, I think it's time to head back to the ranch. We've got 20 slimes and enough food to feed them all for weeks. Hey, and maybe we'll be able to afford that upgrade for the higher walls so our slimes can't escape and jump into the sea. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Anyways, get in there, you rascals. Donnie, they're already hopping out. Oh, God damn it. Come here, you rascal. Hey, I remember seeing that they had index in the slime PD or something. We should check that out. Oh, yeah, maybe we can learn some more about them. Here it is, the pink slime. It says that their coral hue is scientifically proven to be the color of cheer. I don't really know how that helps at all, though. Look, it says their diet is fruit, veggies, and meat, and that they don't have a favorite food. Maybe we'll come across a slime or two that only like veggies or meat. All right, well, until we find some pickier slimes, I'll just give these pink ones all the food we got from our trip. Wow, look at all of those ports. We're gonna be rich. This will definitely be enough for the higher walls. Or for the ranch expansion. No, get out of the way, stupid slimes. I think the slimes really want to be back in the tank. Maybe it's comfortable in there. Dang, we got so many ports that I can't even hold them all. I guess I'll have to make two trips. Wait, Donnie, is that a chicken back there? Wait, what? Oh my god, it totally is. Can you vacuum it up? Oh, it's called the hen hen. Its description states it's a hardy chicken who was bred to be twice as tasty as its cousin on Earth. Ooh, and what's this? This one's called a chickadoo. Holy mackerel, it's so cute. And apparently the chickadoos are so little and soft. No, what is wrong with you? Um, anyways, they were so little and soft that you'd think they're filled with marshmallow. Yeah, okay, that's cool, but look at all the money we're making. Holy cow, that's almost double what we started with. And I haven't even sold everything yet. I think we can definitely afford those higher walls now. Maybe even another corral, too. All right, now we have $466. I'd say we should maybe save the money for now. I don't think we're in desperate need of those walls quite yet. And besides, we may find something cooler we want to buy, like maybe a big golden slime statue outside of our house, or a machine that'll do all of our ranching for us. That's a little unrealistic at this point. I think the best we can do is an upgrade or two on our pink slimes corral. I just want to save up for that pretty ranch expansion. Yeah, I think it's best we save it for now. Anyways, let's head back out into the dry reef to see what else we can find. Bye, pink slimes. Oh, hey, what's that big hologram about? Wait, what? I never noticed this before. Oh, man, it's just a bunch of boring text. I don't want to read all this. Wait, Donald, that looked kind of important. It's fine, Joe, we can always come back. I think we already took all the food. Oh, uh, then maybe we'll just get even more pink slimes. Let's get some more carrots and pogo fruit right now. Whoa, what in the world is that thing down there? I don't know. It looks like a giant pink slime. Go check it out. Wow, it's so big. Look, it's opening its mouth for us. It's so happy. I think maybe it's asking for more food. Oh, well, I didn't bring any. Maybe we can come back later? Wait a second. There's something sparkling behind it. It looks like some kind of futuristic metal container. It says you unlocked some kind of secret style for the pink slimes. So it's just a cosmetic change that makes them sparkly? That's kind of cute, I guess. Whoa, it's so pretty. All right, well, they're still coming back to the ranch, no matter how cute they are. We should probably get back on track and go find some food for this guy, though. Ooh. Oh, sweet. It looks like that unlocked a big part of the map. Whoa, this map is huge. The pop-up says we should be on a lookout for more map nodes around the range. All right, I'll make sure to keep an eye out. Guys, look, there's a kitty cat. Oh my gosh, is this a new slime? Yay, finally. I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. A tabby slime. I guess they're named after the tabby cat back on Earth. Whoa, what is this big pink rock thing? Is this another new slime type? It looks like there's a lot of them around here, but they seem spiky and I don't really feel like dying at the moment. 
There's so much new cool stuff around here. Ooh, nice, some more food. You are gonna feed the slimes the chickens, are you? Uh, oh, hey, a rooster. Actually, it's called a roostro. I guess that's just another type of chicken to feed our slimes. Yeah, these poker fruit are way easier to get, though. Hold on, is that another new slime? Ooh, it's so blue and pretty. It's a rock slime, I guess. So then, what are these big, pink, spiky slimes about? Try to vacuum one up. Fine. Oh, my Largo. Get off of me. Look, another pop-up, it says. Largo slimes are large slime hybrids formed when a slime eats a port unlike its own. So I guess we can kind of combine two different slime types together by feeding one slime a port of another. Hey, that's actually really cool. I wonder if they produce both plorts as well. Well, I think we got a pretty good haul from our trip, so I think it's about time we head back to the ranch. I think it's just up this way. Wait, Donnie, can we read the Slimepedia entries for the new slimes first? Oh, fine. Here's the rock slime. Ooh, it says they only eat veggies and that their favorite food is called a heartbeat. Dang, maybe we should have saved some extra veggies after all. And here's the precious tabby slime. It says their diet consists only of meat and their favorite is a stony hen. So I guess now we have to start thinking about what kind of slime largos we want to make. I'm just going to throw them all in the same cage and hope they end up eating each other's plorts. Or I guess we could do that. Yay, it's so nice to be home again. Oh my gosh, these adorable little tabbies keep hopping out. Oh, come on. Look, the slimes are already turning into largos with each other. Yeah, but the transformation keeps launching the other slimes into the sky. God damn it. Oh, look, they're stacking on top of each other. That's so cute. Okay, Donnie, I think we really need those higher walls right about now. All right, fine. There we go. Those rascals will never escape now. I just gotta wrangle up the ones that escape first. Donnie, I think we got way too many slimes. You know what, screw this, I'm gonna go back to exploring. Oh, come on, give those little guys another chance. No way, we just spent a whole two minutes trying to keep them in their cage, and I- Wait a second, Donnie, what are those things? Oh, wow, it's so bright and pretty. It's flying away from me. A phosphor slime. The Slimepedia calls them the softly glowing heralds of starlight. Donnie, be careful with my phosphors. I guess these are kind of like the fireflies of the slime world. I bet their plorts will sell for a ton. I don't remember seeing any of the phosphor slimes before. Do they only spawn at night? Oh yeah, that makes sense if they're based around fireflies and light and such. Don't you think eventually we should separate the slimes into different corrals? It feels kind of mean to keep them all crammed into the same one with each other. Yeah, but the corrals are too expensive right now. We don't have that kind of money. But we literally do. Look, as far as I'm concerned, our slimes are perfectly happy all in the same corral. It's like a constant party in there. Look at them. I think Barack is right. We should probably just make another corral for the phosphors since we have the money. All right, fine. All right. I was thinking we could fuse the phosphors and the tabbies together since they would produce the two most valuable ports at the moment. Yay. Look how happy he is. Hey, I could have sworn there was like two more of them in here. Uh, that's weird. All I see is pink. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, I just realized. Wait, what happened? I don't get it. The phosphor slimes must have ate some of the pink ports, and now we can't make phosphor tabby largos. I guess we gotta go get some more pure phosphor slimes then. Look, there's one. Finally. <laughs> Two of them. How many are we gonna get before we head back? Two should be fine, but I wouldn't mind a couple more. Ooh, Donnie, can we go into the big scary cave? Oh yeah, it looks like there's an entrance to some kind of cave that we didn't notice before. We should look inside. You know what? Sure, why not? I bet there'll be tons of phosphors in here. Ooh, look at all the pretty crystals. Oh, that's not good. I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh. Oh, thank God, it's just some pink phosphor largos. They're so friendly. I take it back, I take it back. Yeah, I don't think they want to help us with our ranching. We should get out of here. All right, what's this? Looks like it requires a slime key to open. So now we gotta go back through the cave? Oh, come on. Where are we supposed to get a slime key from, though? I don't know, maybe that big pink slime is hiding it from us. Ow. All right, good, we made it out. I think two phosphor slime should be enough anyway. I'll just grab some more food and head back to the ranch. Ooh, but I wouldn't mind some more plorts as well. Oh, hey, we should try to see if we can feed that big pink slime on that island like we theorized. Oh, I almost forgot about that. We could try that, too. Let me just do some slime parkour real quick. Oh, yeah, look at all these pogo fruits. All right, I think that's all the food we can get at the moment. 
Let's go see if the big slime wants any. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, yeah, he ate the poker fruit. I think he wants more. It looks like he's growing a little bit every time I feed him. It's kind of hard to tell, though. Maybe we should come back when we have even more food. I don't want to let this big guy steal it all, especially when we have starving slimes at home. Yay, we're back home again. All right, time to make some more plorts. I think maybe we should have saved some more food. We only came back with like five pogo fruit. Yeah, that was kind of stupid of me. But at least we got some more phosphor slimes. Oh no, they're getting out again. Oh my gosh, why do they keep escaping? I think we just have way too many of them in there. And it probably doesn't help that the phosphors can literally fly. Wait, what the hell? Oh my god, this is a disaster of a start. I think once we earn some more money and can afford higher walls and air nets for our slimes, it should be smooth sailing from there. All right, Barack, I think you're right about having way too many slimes. I'm going to try to wrangle up some of these small pink slimes since they're not really doing anything or making us any money. All right, it took a while, but we're finally starting to get the hang of this. Ooh, what's this? It says backpack upgrades. And it looks like one of the upgrades we can buy is a jetpack. That sounds pretty handy. Yeah, but it's like $350. Maybe we can buy it another time. For now, let's go venturing once more and see if we can't get any more phosphorus lines. Ooh, I don't think we've been this way before. Me neither. Let's see what we can find. Oh, yay, more tabbies. You know, I would have never expected you to be the type of person to like cats this much. Well, when it comes to cute little cat blobs, I can make an exception. Speaking of which, my favorite slimes are the pink ones. They're just so cute and friendly. I'm gonna be honest, I thought you had left the call a few minutes ago, Joey. Yeah, you haven't said, like, anything in the past three minutes. Oh, sorry. Ooh, look, a new fruit. This one's called a Q-berry. I guess it's kind of just a cube-shaped strawberry. That's pretty cute. Whoa, that's a huge tabby slime. Your buddy have a Q-berry. I think the tabbies only eat meat. We should probably come back another time. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's check out what's over this bridge. Wow, look how big the moon is. Oh no, not again. It's fine, these guys are pretty easy to get past. Hey, what's happening? Oh my god, those stupid evil slimes are lagging the game. I'm getting like one frame per second. Hey, at least I found a crate. What happened? The game was running perfectly fine. I don't know. Let's just try to get out of here. Hey, at least we found a stony hen amidst the chaos. Okay, this is insane. I can't even see what's happening. Oh, dag nabbit. We've been knocked out. Great. That's fine. I was kind of wanting to go home anyway. Yeah, but we lost all of our stuff. Ooh, we got mail from Thor West. Well, I guess it is pretty nice to be home. But since it skipped like 12 hours, we have a bunch of hungry slimes. All right. Guess it's adventuring time once more. Bye again, pink slimes. I think there was another path near the entrance that we never fully explored. Let's see if we can find anything special down there. I hope we find something really great. Oh, sweet, another crate. And hopefully our game won't start lagging out and get us killed this time. Ooh, a heartbeat. I guess that's a pretty clever name. All right, that was a pretty quick and successful trip, I'd say. Now let's feed these little bastards. I think we should hold on to the heartbeat for now, since we only have one. And if I remember correctly, the heartbeat was the rock slime's favorite food. So maybe we can find a way to start a farm. Whoa! What the hell? What in the world is that thing? Oh god, it's spreading to the other Largos. Get those things away from me. Go to the sea, you bastards. Looks like they're called the tar. Those awful ravenous rainbows. This is a disaster. They're eating all of our slimes. Hold on. I got this under control. Our poor slime. They're hopping too high. I can't get them all. Get out of here. Oh god, they just keep on spreading. What happened? Why did these even appear? I don't know, just get rid of them all, and maybe we can read the Slimepedia entry after. Okay, that should be all of them. What a disaster. Oh, you have to be kidding me. All right, we gotta evacuate. Everyone get out, run for your life. Okay, I think it's over. Oh great, we lost like half of our slimes. Luckily, I was able to save some of them. Yay, I was so worried for my pink slime. I still don't really know why those guys appeared in the first place, though. Actually, I guess we can read the Slimepedia entry now. Let's see. Of course, they're all the way at the bottom. Here we go, the tar. Let me read this. The tar are formed when a Largo eats a plort unlike the ones it produces. A terrible transformation occurs that turns the slime into a sludge filled with a swirling, prismatic array of colors and a relentless appetite. The tar seek only to consume 
and replicate. Because of this, it can spread rapidly throughout the ranch. The only way to stop a tar outside of incinerating it or throwing it into the slime sea is with fresh water. One splash will stop a tar from spawning new tar, and repeated splashes will destroy it entirely. Oh, I guess that explains what the water tank upgrade is for. We should save up for that. Yay, a new upgrade. It looks like we unlocked the Dash Boots upgrade somehow. Yeah, but we still don't have any money. And we still somehow need more food. I swear we had so much at one point. We did, but we gave a lot of it to that giant pink slime out on that island. Hey, now that I think of it, I think I saw the option to make a garden on one of those plots when you opened up the menu earlier. Oh, that would actually be pretty useful. I'll see if we can get one. Oh yeah, here it is. And we can afford it too, hooray. Phew. Nice, now we have our own little heartbeat farm. And it looks like we can buy some upgrades to speed up the process too. We should buy one. For the last time, we don't have any money. We're broke. Oh yeah, I forgot. You always do. Wow, these slimes do not want to stay in their corrals. Well, since we know that we shouldn't be mixing Largo types anymore, we should probably get rid of these tabbies and replace them with something else. Um... Okay, good. I thought that slime was going to bounce back for a second. Hey, I could have sworn we had some phosphor slimes in that corral. Oh, the tar must have got them too. No, I remember noticing the phosphors were gone before the tar outbreak, I'm pretty sure. Then why didn't you say anything? I thought maybe they went on vacation. I don't know. It is weird that they just kind of disappeared. Let me check their entry. Phosphor slimes come out at night, flying about the moonlit range upon their translucent wings. Wait, read the Rancher Risk section, actually. Uh, okay. Phosphor slimes have special needs compared to your typical slime. A phosphor slime and its ports will quickly vanish if exposed to sunlight, meaning a rancher could quickly lose an entire corral's worth of phosphor slimes if not careful. Oh, so they must have disappeared when the sun came up. That makes sense. Maybe we need to put some kind of cover over the corral so the sunlight can't get to them. Oh hey, the range exchange thing is online now. Who is this? Oh hey, it's Thora West. Oh yeah, didn't we get mail from her a while back? I'm pretty sure we did. It looks like she's trying to trade us some items for a few fruits and veggies. Oh yeah, it looks like she'll give us some cuberries and phosphor ports. And $250. We should do it. That's a steal. Okay, so she wants six heartbeats and six pogo fruit? That's pretty easy. Pogo fruit grow everywhere around here. Plus, we have a heartbeat garden growing. This is going to be a breeze. All right, slimes, we're back. And we got you some food, too. Nice, we're finally going to get some more ports. Yay, look how happy they look. And then we'll give the other six to the range exchange. All right, and now we just have to wait for our heartbeats to grow. Oh, come on, these rascals keep getting out. But hey, at least we got a bunch of ports. So what are we going to put in the other corral? I was thinking some tabby phosphors would be good, but since we don't have a way to keep phosphors protected from the sun, we might have to find a different combination. And I don't really want to mix a tabby with a rock or pink slime since we already have those. I guess we can wait until we can either find a way to protect the phosphors or until we find a better slime to fuse it with. Nice, $165. We only got like $6 per port. Last time we got like nine, what happened? I don't know, maybe they lost some value because we sold a bunch last time. Buy rock slimes. Also, I saw that there was another option to buy a coop just to throw that out there. Like a chicken coop? Yeah, I think it's a coop for the hen hens. Maybe we should get some hen hens or those chickadoo things and we can start our own little hen hen farm. All right, I'll see if I can get a chickadoo or two while we're out. And hopefully enough food to finally fill up that giant pink slime. Ooh, here's some chickadoos. And some tabby slimes, hooray. All right, we've got seven hen hens and three cube berries for you. This has to be enough. Wow, it's shaking like crazy. What do you think will happen? Only one way to find out. This better be enough food. Whoa. What is it doing? Ah, holy crap. It just exploded into a million little slimes. I guess those are called gordo slimes. It looks like they drop a bunch of crates, too. Oh, what is this thing? Is this like an ornament? That's kind of cute. Maybe we can hang it up around our house. Whoa, look at that shiny key. I think that might be the slime key we've been looking for. Is the pop-up going to appear or what? Oh, yeah, we got the slime key. Hooray. I can't wait to see what's behind that big spooky door. Hold on. We still got some stuff to do back at the ranch first. All right, now where do I hang this ornament? Uh, maybe put it up by the port market on that little screen thing. Ooh, this is a good spot, yeah. And it looks like our heartbeats are ready to harvest, too. Our slimes are gonna love these. 
nice, and now we can complete this trade deal. Boom! Ooh, those Q-berries still look so tasty. And it looks like we got some more mail from some guy named Victor. Oh my gosh, these people are obsessed with us. Oh, you son of a gun. This bastard ate one of my Q-berries. Go, get out of here. Oh, come on, he just wanted a little snack. He can snack on the dirt, for all I care. But he better stay away from my hard-earned Q-berries. Now let's feed these little rascals. Oh, they look so happy. This game is so cute. I know, right? I just want to snuggle up with one of those rock slimes. Oh, I don't know if that'd be a good idea. Wow, there are so many ports in here. I think they might have produced double. Uh, that's weird. Oh, actually, that'd make a lot of sense. Didn't it say that the heartbeats were the rock slime's favorite food? I think maybe if they get fed their favorite food, they produce double the amount of ports, since it's like their favorite. Oh yeah, you're probably right. Ooh, hey, what's this do? I don't remember noticing this upgrade. According to this, it says the solar shield will encase our corral in a dim shade, protecting slime sensitive to light. Ooh, we'll be able to put some phosphor hybrids in here if we buy that, which we will. But the phosphors can just fly away off to their vacation home once we fuse them with the tabbies. We need to hire walls as well. Yeah, you're probably right. I'll collect some more ports real quick. Nice 370. All right, here we go. Oh, they're adorable. And flying away. Yeah, I should have bought the walls first, my bad. Yay, look at the little Tabby hopping around. I wish Tabby cats were real. Joe, have you gone outside in the last 10 years? I'm working on it, don't rush me. Uh, okay, I guess. I've still got nine chickadoos in my backpack, though. We should probably get that coop set up. How much was it again? I think it was like 250. Oh, that's easy money. These ports should be enough to afford it. Perfect. Yay, now we can farm our own hen hens. Grow up big and strong, little chickadoos. Let's hope they grow up into some beautiful and delicious hen hens. All right, guys, this was really fun, but I think this is a good stopping point for today. Oh, man. I can't wait to see what's behind that big secret door next time, though. Yeah, that should be really fun. I'm sure we'll make a lot more progress next time. I bet we will. We'll be sliming masters in no time. All right, bye for now.